now let us discuss about tcp services or transport services or the responsibilities of transport layer or tcp so mainly we have nine services or nine responsibilities so first one is full duplex communication second one is connection oriented service third one is reliable service fourth one process to process communication fifth one stream delivery service sixth one segments seventh one flow control eighth one error control and the ninth one is guarantee delivery now let us discuss about all these services one by one so first one is full duplex communication tcp is a full duplex communication protocol that means the data will be transferred from source to destination as well as from destination to source simultaneously so data will be transferred from host 1 to host 2 as well as from host 2 to host 1 at the same time next one is connection oriented service tcp follows connection oriented service so first a connection will be established between host 1 and host 2 between the sender and the receiver so after establishing the connection the data will be transferred once the transferring of data is over then the connection will be terminated so here the connection involves three pages so first one is establishing the connection for establishing the connection it uses three way handshake uh, second one is transferring of data and the third page is terminating the connection and the third one is uh, it provides reliable service tcp provides guarantee to the sender that the data transmitted by the sender will arrives correctly at the receiver so tcp ensures that guarantee so that's why we are saying that tcp is a reliable service it is a reliable protocol uh, uh, for providing the reliability uh, it uses acknowledgments next sequence numbers and retransmissions so let the sender sends a segment to the receiver so after receiving the segment receiver provides acknowledgement to the sender next every segment will contain a sequence number let the sender is sending three segments to the receiver so let the uh, segment numbers are like this 1 2 3 so at the receiver side also receiver re receives the corresponding segments in the order in which they were sent by the sender why because the segments have sequence numbers so according to the numbering it will uh, the receiver will receives the segment suppose for a particular segment if the sender doesn't receives any acknowledgement then the sender can retransmits the same segment one more time so for reliability tcp uses these three and the next one is uh, process to process communication so here a process in host 1 that is sender can communicate with a process in host 2 for communication here the process uses port to numbers port to numbers here we have uh, 1024 1024 predefined port numbers are there predefined port numbers are nothing but uh, well defined port numbers uh, if you take some example uh, 25 is nothing but uh, the port number of uh, smtp protocol simple mail transfer protocol Uh, next 80 is nothing but uh, the port number of http suppose if a process wants to smtp means simple mail transfer protocol a process in host 1 can send a mail to a process in host 2 with the help of the port number 
So 25 means SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So here a process in sender can communicate with a process in receiver with the help of the port numbers. Okay. Next, uh, TCP is a provides stream delivery service. So we know about what is a stream. Stream means collection of data. Here we have uh, sender process, receiver process. Sender process can sense the data as a stream of bytes. Likewise, the receiver process can also receive the data as a stream of bytes. So stream means a collection of bytes. So for that they will use some buffer. So sender sends a stream of bytes. Those bytes will be stored in a buffer. The receiver will receive the data. The receiver will consume the data from the buffer. And the next one is segments. Segments. Uh, we know that on top of transport layer we have application layer. On bottom of transport layer we have a network layer. Uh, application layer uh, represents the data in the form of some messages. So application layer sends a message to the transport layer. But if that message is big message, larger message, then the corresponding message will be splitted into various segments. Various segments. So those segments, those small segments, here we have a big message. So that message is splitted into various segments. So the transport layer will add a header to each segment. It will add a header to the segment and it will transmit the corresponding segment to the its down layer that is nothing but uh, network layer. So that is about what is segment. Next one is flow control. So we know what is a flow control. So let the sender is sending data. Let the sender is sending segments at a faster rate. Whereas the receiver is consuming the data. The receiver is consuming the segments at a slower rate. Then what will happen is some of the segments may be lost. TCP provides various flow control mechanisms so that there will be no loss of any segments or any data. And the next one is error control. So here there may be a possibility that after sending the data, after sending a segment, that segment may be lost or that the content of the segment may be changed. So here we have in TCP we have various error control mechanisms so that uh, uh, those error messages will be transmitted to the sender. So here uh, TCP provides various uh, error control mechanisms. So there will be even if error is occurred then there will be no problem. Why? Because that error information will be reported correctly to the sender by the TCP. And the next one is guarantee delivery. It is like a reliable service only. TCP ensures the guarantee delivery. If the sender is sending a segment, then TCP ensures 100% guarantee delivery that that segment will arrives correctly at the receiver. So this is about various services or responsibilities of some TCP or transport layer.